Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to start this video off saying like shout out to Andrea Munitic. I think that's his name. He recently commented on my video and asked me or talked to me about like the knees caving in and a certain squat stance that uh, this uh, professional Olympic lifter named Gabriel Sincrayan, sorry if I pronounced his name wrong, about what he was talking about on Sika Strength. So um, I did end up checking out the video. So whatever you guys recommend, I swear guys, I do check it out. I listen to you guys. I really appreciate the comments. If you guys ever just comment something, I do listen and I do check it out. Also, um, shout out to Drizzit. He also talked about the camera length, not camera length, the camera height and I, um, like you see how the videos are like on the ground. I just prop my phone up against like a water bottle But I am gonna I did order a tripod and I am gonna start uh, Recording with a tripod. So it's gonna be a little higher up give you a better view of the squat um, That's coming in I think tonight uh, You'll notice right here. I'm opening up my adductors. So I did not used to do this because I would always do like splits training. You saw that in the beginning this makes the squat feel like 10 times easier guys try this actually try this open up your hips and you'll see i also put my knee on the ground and open up and do internal rotation and open up my hip as well so i'll put my knee on the ground and then push my knee open and it like opens up like your entire hips and this is insane it, it really helps you like just sit in and then after i was just popping right up so back to sika's video so Sika's video with Gabriel Sincran, he talked about like squat tips and how to increase your squat. And he was talking about like trying different stances. I've already tried that. And then he talked about just like relaxing and sinking and staying upright. This I never really did. I kind of like controlled the weight and I would be really tense at the top trying to flex my glutes. Today, I did it completely different. It's hard to see, but like my face and everything at the top my glutes, everything is completely relaxed. It, 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 it felt like way better than usual. So this is my, the, the top set. I did 335 and I only did it for three. So I was going to do three by threes, but I, I was just trying that his method of just like relaxing, sinking down and you'll see like, I don't know. It just looks, it looked and felt so easy. So there's, I'm also doing no mirror. So I'm, I did it backwards. I really want to get away from the mirror. But like sinking down, I really need to grease the groove with this of um, sinking straight down and straight back up and making it look as easy as like two, 265, which I do end up doing at the end. So this was set two. And after set one, I had this feeling in my mind like, you know what, I'm going to go really heavy today. Just just because like, I don't know, I, re I really want to get my squat up. I really want 405 for like three reps, five reps, something like that. I, I want my strength up and I'm sick of being at like 325, five by five. So I did I did this set and then after this set, I just threw a 45 on and just, I didn't even know how much it was. I just knew I could go up like 20 pounds. So I threw a 45, it ended up being 355. That I didn't realize it was that much, but I didn't know what it was. I just threw it on. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I didn't sink down as steadily because it was heavy. I think it messed with my head, but look at my right foot. You see that? So I did end up going on my toes and I was like, that was, it. yeah, I'm even nodding. I was like, that was a crappy rep. But I did go for it again. Did not, yeah, did not get it for two. But after this, I was like, all right, you know what? I'm done with the heavy stuff. I'm just gonna rep stuff out. Just work the, work that like form. So I did, I did 265 for 12 reps. <laughs> I went, I went bananas, guys. So I did it for 12 reps, and you'll notice, like, as I get further into it, like, you'll just see the change in my face where I'm just, like, get this bar off my back. I don't know if you guys have ever done high rep stuff, but it is killer. So I know Ivan, uh, Ivan's uh, legs, when he does high reps, he feels it a ton in his quads. But he, it, I remember a video where it says he has to get to, like, super high rep to really feel the burn in his quads. So now I'm like the opposite. I swear I'm like the opposite of him. So like these final reps, my glutes, like my quads, obviously I feel because that's what I normally do. But my glutes were on fire. And like in between sets, I was like, Jesus Christ, I have a huge glute pump right now. So like, oh man, look at my face. Yeah, I was dying. I was like breathing hard, dying. So 
I did this for two sets, and this was just my final. And then after this, I ended up doing Romanians. Um, I do use my wrist wraps now a lot, and I've been I've been trying to fix my Romanian deadlift form because I usually, I usually like let the bar drift forward, and I really need to keep it close. So sometimes I do get a little bit of a back pump, but I haven't been getting it recently now with the wrist wraps and with like really activating my glutes. I also, um, I also have been, I did, I, today I, I tried a new method of like gripping the bar. So I would always grip the bar with just like my fingers around it, but I watched, I, I, I didn't watch a video. I saw a video, a picture of how you should be gripping the bar more of with your knuckles like almost pointed down so you have the bar like in your full hand and i tried that today and my my forearms were dying i was not used to that so that was very interesting um also the microbio test um it did not go as bad as i planned so i was actually very excited after the test did i did celebrate did have fun um I was I was expecting the test to be like impossible, like I was expecting just vague, uh, vague vague questions and then tons of answers. It wasn't that bad. I did review a lot. It was like seven chapters of material, and then in those seven chapters they have like the section. So you for like for example chapter one has like one point one, one point two, one point three, so stuff like that. So it's not just it's not just like oh yeah you just read chapter one it has like multiple sections and it takes a long time so there's i i didn't really study by reading because it's just it's just impossible content to read so this past week i i did like online assignments that she assigned for like homework i redid all the homework assignments did flashcards quizlets i really try to do everything but it's hard when it's all memorization and then when you add into the factor of uh like the ambiguous uh like amoeba like organisms like the names like that's what was on there like the names of certain amoebas silates flagellates and stuff like that it's like man that's hard sorry getting wrapped up in microbio but yeah and then the hardest i think part was i wasn't expecting was that like the the test had like multiple it wasn't just a b c d it was like a b c d e i hate those it just it just builds into that like am ambiguity of like the test and like what it could be so that was a microbio test very excited to be done with that that was a lot of memorization a lot of hard work never really had to study like that um this next week i do have another test and stuff like that but i'm, I'm gonna start studying today uh what else about this i did my splits after this splits are st it's i felt really tight today but like always like the more i try the easier it gets and these romanian deadlifts they they really felt pretty good my last set i'm not sure if this is the last set but i was really grinding it down my shins and it felt like i could just constantly feel attention in my hamstrings which is amazing because that's really what i was going for and it's kind of mind-blowing that i've been doing these Romanian deadlifts wrong this long it's taking me because I, I started lifting I don't know if you guys know this started lifting like freshman like the second semester of freshman year but I never really got into squatting the way I do and doing the stuff I do until that summer so that summer is where I learned like the Olympic squats and stuff like that and that's where I really started taking it serious and I do have some old videos on my channel like when I was 16 and stuff like that. So I did, yeah, I have been squatting for a while, but I, now I'm taking it much more serious. And the, like this past summer, I did, I, I know I did squat, but I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't taking it nearly as serious as I am now. Like now I'm watching videos on like little techniques, little things, cause like a lot of people tell me I have like the perfect form down, but I still feel like there's little things, like there's, there's things I can improve on. But it might just be more glute activation or just more time i may i just may need more time under the bar may more more reps more volume more stuff like that but i am working towards that tomorrow i might do accessory works maybe some clean stuff my wrist thing my wrist sort of injury it, it wasn't really even an injury because i can still completely use it feeling a lot better i might do some like cleans with just the bar and maybe just some light front squats maybe but yeah today was just the heavy heavy leg day it was hell um, splits are getting better. Um, here you can, it's hard to see, but I do PNF stretching. I know I mentioned it in the past, 
but what I'm doing is I'm pushing my 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 heels into the ground like to like prop me up and what you do is is you like push in and then you relax and then you open try to open up your hips by flexing your glutes so you have your outer glutes on the outside where my hand is currently and then you have your adductors so you flex one and then you flex the other and relax the other so it's like a constant like back and forth tug over just sinking deeper and deeper into the into the splits but yeah that was my heavy day uh please recommend anything i will definitely listen to you and watch it and i appreciate all the comments and support we just hit 300 subscribers that's insane but yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow on just the accessory movements